Being at the Academy of Art, I kind of really just fell in love with film music. I feel like you only have one life to live. I would rather be creating art than be a rich person working a job that they hate. That's the artist's struggle, I guess, of just persevering until someone does take your talent seriously. I feel like the people who work the hardest are the people who get ahead and are able to make careers out of it. I think when you have that kind of drive, you're going to keep working at it and eventually somebody will notice. When I got to the Academy of Art, I wanted to go back and study music and kind of actually learn more about it. Just learning more and more about orchestration and about film music in general, and I'm probably still using techniques that I learned from school. I started pretty late doing music. I didn't think that could really be a job. I tried to have normal jobs. I tried to do normal things, but you know, there's nothing else I was going to do. At the spring show, they invite a bunch of uh, industry professionals to come see the students work, and uh, I was lucky enough to be chosen. That's how I met Russell Spurlock, and that's how I got involved with my first few gigs as a composer for television. For me, music is storytelling. Storytelling is what connects all of us together. It's an essential quality of being human. I feel like just being able to get up every day to create music and tell stories, you're happier. My days go by really quick because I'm able to just do something that I really like to do. I think the idea of leaving a legacy behind is I'm hoping it'll inspire someone else, that someone will hear my music or hear my story and, and want to tell their own stories.